To understand 1 Nephi chapters 11 through 15, we have to go back a couple of chapters. Okay. If you think back to 1 Nephi 8, you probably remember, well, this is Lehi's dream of the tree of life. So uh, Lehi experiences this amazing dream. And there's a second part that I think we sometimes forget about. In 1 Nephi chapter 10, Lehi also has an amazing um, prophecy of the future of his people. So he shares with his sons the dream that he's had and the prophecy of the Jews and the Gentiles' fates in the latter days. He uses this metaphor of an olive tree with branches being grafted and taken out and coming back. Nephi takes all this into his heart and his mind, and he longs to see it for himself. So he prepares himself, and in chapters 11 through 14, we get to experience alongside Nephi an amazing, incredible, monumental, sweeping, how many adjectives can I add oh, here? <laughs> incredible vision of the history of the world.